Hello everyone, this is Yaris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our 190 expanded mod Gongsun Duel Let's Play. We continue for episode 11 from turn 80 in the summer season of 206. So, first things first, we have a few diplomacy issues. We are going to confederate or force the abdication of the Kingdom of Song. We left off here last episode. We'll grab their territories out west, we'll grab their army, we'll grab their family members and generals on the field. Aside from that, we're also going to confederate some minor factions. There's a few. Zhang Yang, who has just one piece here, and also the army that's kind of neutral sitting near Yuan Shao's capital. Can't be confederated. We just need to promise him some payment. Yeah, about 900 at a time. It will take a little bit of time. Our goal here is that we have to continue to fight the factions out west. It's going to be a little bit annoying. We have some leader problems up here. We're at war with Ma Teng. We're at war with Li Jue's faction. So we have to continue the war there. We need more counties. I think we're around 50-ish. We need 95 for the win. So even if we are going to take... Wu's capital really, really far south, we wouldn't get the victory, so we have to keep expanding. We're also going to try to confederate a faction in the south that can put us a little bit closer to the kingdom of Wu. We're not at war with them yet, so we can maybe even sneak to their capital and take it first. I'm trying to avoid getting into the situation where we have to march through the central plains. I'll get a little bit of money back from him. This is similar to asking him for or giving him one coin. Basically, you need some sort of lump sum payment either from him or to him to kind of refresh the trending value and we are a little short on cash so this this will help us a little bit too I'm gonna ask for less and less because I don't want him to run out before he gets to 150 or basically when he becomes best friends with us that's when we will confederate him and pick up his uh existing army on the field 94 Okay, we almost have everything. And let's take 500 first, because I don't think he gets there. Yeah, he needs one more deal. Now we want everything. And he becomes best friends with us. And we'll just confederate. Everyone likes this. Good. And then I think the only other faction that we can confederate, maybe some of these minor ones, I'm not sure, but because they're part of, um, it's close, because they're part of uh, Vassalage, they're feeling a little stronger than they would by themselves, so I don't think we can pull these off. Yep, we need a bit more for those, but there is a faction down here who has no alliances that we can pull this off. Now, Banner says Changsha, so that means he started out there. And we can yeah, do something very similar. He has items. Oh, actually, let's do a few to boost his number up, trending towards negative one. Wow, it's trending very, very low. What did we do to all of them? Yeah, 800 is fine too. Well, the current attitude just, like, completely tanked. It's like all these Han faction loved us when we were fighting the Korean factions, and then now it's like the moment we go to war with one faction, they all hate us. And our domestic affair, same thing. We're at zero points for that. I think that value should be looked at by the developers of the mod. I think instead of 25 points per battle, like, five points would be sufficient at least at that point you don't just give up on managing it like here at this chunk 
I'm just going to ignore the mechanic. Right? There's no way I can save it. It's not like I can stop fighting Han factions. Or else, how do you win the game? Right, you, you get your Emperor seat. You have to go get it. Alright, last one. Instead of asking him for cash, which I'm sure he has some, we'll ask him for item. We saw that he had a silver weapon. He might even have armor because uh, he did have Trangsha. Oh, gold armor. Hello. I think we have Ancestral Pledge. I think those two actually have a set bonus. Bastard and Fire Ancestral Pledge. Do you have any followers? Mounts and Zori. Nope. How about Cash? Oh, he's loaded compared to uh, Johnny Allen's faction. One more deal. I'm not gonna empty him out. We're pretty happy with what we got. Got the gold armor. I mean, those that gold armor would have gone to waste. It would have actually just disappeared from the game if we confederated him without taking it. So I think this is fine. We can deck out Yang Yi, who's been with us since the beginning and has done quite well with us. Let's see where he is. I think that's all the confederation we're gonna do. Okay, so he's not in Changsha, at least not in Changsha anymore. He has Ling Ling. It's poorly built. Let's fix it. Mm, I think we keep it simple. I th oh, we can keep that. It's fine. No grudge. Sure. Uh, you can keep your weapon. We'll take those. Okay, nothing too special. None of that for you. We'll find them. We'll find him two generals. That's probably his wife. Oh, she also has it decked out. We don't have Sovereign of the Blades, but I think we have Constellation as a set. Yeah, that's not bad. She can have that. All right, we'll let her keep it. We'll put we'll put your husband and wife together, and then we'll find you a strategist. Ah, this works. We'll let her keep the cavalry because I can't get another Xiongnu cav. Defenders, probably not what we want. Let's just do extra tribuchet and then some. Ooh. Can we? I think we click these twice and then do this. Yep. Now they look they look better. Then we'll splurge. We we'll get two headhunters, two melee cav with ooh, two melee cav with shield, two melee cav without shield but good charge. No one has reach in these armies, right? Oh, we can deck you out too. All right, not bad. So they do have a few armies here, but we're very close to their capital. Like I said, we need more land. Can we find a new trade partner? Perfect. Let me give you a food as well. Sure, let's make him like us a bit more. Courageous warrior, that's not a good sign. Oh, gun. I think we want to take the Toolmaker first, and then we can peace out with him afterwards. I think that's fine. Loyal Guard. Yeah, should be okay. Everyone else still hates us. Don't think we can do much there. I have to take a look at the Yuan Clan that we picked up. You're probably... Zhang Yang's wife. 
steady handed mother. He's an administrator, actually. Maybe after we get Hodong, we can consider it. Forgotten son. No grudge on any of them. Favored son. And unfavored son. Well, actually, you three, we can put you in the army and just take advantage of your um, familial conflict with the dual weapon. Should be quite good. Oh, that's our guy. So the rest are all in armies. That's the one we just decked out. You three look like you guys get along just fine. Alright, we'll take these from you. We'll first remove their unit. I don't have the cash to give them units this turn, but uh, we can do that in the future. Because we have such a lack of seasonal deployment limit, I think with this setup we can just let them stay on the field. Who else? Uh, let's see. Also a pretty good army setup. He doesn't have reach. Does he have reach? No one has reach. But we'll probably have Yanan lead. So I'm gonna let him keep just the cavalry. Just the Xiongnu cav. We can recruit higher tier militias for him. We'll keep the crossbow here. Mm, and the cav, I guess. And we'll also keep the cav and crossbow here too. They are right next to Golgun's territory. That's fine. They'll survive. We'll move them back later. Oh, did we check their items? Oh, did you pick up? Oh, no, not against us. Okay, so we're good there. Hmm, you guys don't really like each other, but then again, you still have your drunk trait. We're probably not going to be too picky about whether they like each other or not here. We'll probably have to turn them around and have them go fight the western factions after we give them a actual army. Oh, you just was going home. Mm, I'll let him preserve his uh, faction unique units. Haha, <laughs> he doesn't hate us. He already hates Yuan Shu and Li Jue. Okay, that's good. Come back. We'll put you in the army with your wife and uh, have your sons nearby. Right, looters is a problem. A looter is a problem for us too. Right, this army is so big that we're gonna need to be. Doubling down to get them. This would be a save for us as well, in case something crashes the game and then we lose access to all those deals we just did. Alright, we just have to chase them down. Alright, this is also a looter. Coral's not at war with us right now, so that's fine. We want them to siege it. We just need to be close enough to get them next turn. Chen Deng and Gong Sun Zhan are still at war with us, so we want to launch some sort of naval counterattack. Some of these armies will go do that. We're not at war with anyone to the south of the Yellow River, except for Liu Chong's former faction. Most of the war is out west, so a lot of armies will still push out this way. I think we moved everyone. The last 10k we have, we're going to work on buildings. We are plus 12. So, well, this should go up first. More income. And then we can do these. These will be another minus 8. So we'll be at 4 points. The population will continue to grow. Eventually, we'll need more public order help. I think we can push this up for another four points, but that's not going to solve the long-term problem. This, this weighs pretty heavily, but I think we just keep it and rough it out. Yeah, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. 
Like corruption reduction is more of an issue for us right now. Uh, speaking of that, most of the new land that we got is what we need to take a look at. Ooh. Well, this army can go back. Looters is such a pain. Alternatively, I can make a vassal here and just give up this land. Like, we already have a looter situation out east. Do we really want another one out west just for the chance of cavalry? You know what? Let's let's give up on this piece. We can find... It's gotta be someone... Who we captured or someone that has, like, fondness towards us. Yeah, someone like him, for example. We don't really have a strong reason to keep him. Since he has fondness towards us. Actually, we can just do it here. And since there's no shallows, there's a good chance we can trade with him. Perfect. Trusting. Perfect. Okay, this is this is just great. This works out perfectly. Although he might get crushed by uh, the rebels. We will actually... Hmm, I was going to say give him money, but looking at our... Current treasury, I don't think that's possible. We'll tell him that we'll never we'll never annex you. Why would we ever do that? I know there's a lot of land to the west. It could be interesting to go check it out, but I think it's better to play a different campaign in the future where we start out in the west than for this current one to go out of the way to go west. We might have assassination here. Nice. So she becomes the faction leader. Oh, Lady Jensen, our recruitment pool. She didn't come with the family, but she might be recruitable. Yep. Hmm, Zenbot comes with mending, but also with disloyal. I think we're good on characters for a bit. Okay, so assassination is done. He's probably going to become heir next. Ten turns of mistrust. Hmm. We'll see next turn when he actually do die, the satisfaction dips and everything. Oh, terrible builds. I think we wait till they clear up to build something there. What is this? Actually, I think I built that. Yeah, I think I built that. Just looking for any easy corruption reduction that we can add. I mean, here... Need a temple. Mm, do we really need this high tier here? Small regional. Let me destroy this and start downgrading this afterwards. Mm, same thing here, but it's already built, so. Ooh. We could convert it to one of ours, but I don't see a point. 
Mm, peasantry multiplier, food multiplier. We would just like to convert it. And then state workshop in here. That'd be perfect. There is some extra commerce, but it's mainly peasantry as well. I think we just pick this up for another source of income here. Or we get Confucian. Oh, we actually just need Confucian Temple here. That's probably what we need here, too. Okay, too many commanderies. 25k. I think all the corruption reduction ones have been sort of taken care of. We'll just start going from down. Top to bottom here and build everything we can until we run out of cash uh more food we had 94 food i think we're fine sure we'll take it and now we're very very poor i think that's pretty much everything max tax this is negative, but that's seven points of faction support. Population is super high in MP. Two million? Okay. Mm. There's not a lot of income here. Why don't we actually just demolish this? Faction support goes away. Building goes away. 11 points. We'll be at zero. Yeah, good enough. Alright, we'll keep the high tax rate. 25k. We still need to build out armies. 7, 8 opening. I mean, I think we have pointed someone in, yep, in Taiwan. And then when we pick up Hodong, we'll point someone there. That's pretty much it. We won't go west. I think we'll be content with just taking this piece. If we can piece out with Maton, that'd be great. If we can piece out with Oli just dead, uh, that'd be great. We want to take this little peninsula here and then build out armies down here too. Lots of things to do. Well, they didn't give us time now, did they? That army's not ready. They have two armies nearby. This is going to be a bit rough. Wait, who's... Wait, Ant's army sieging us? That little army left? Hmm... Definitely some problems all about. Maybe we pull the army that we have at the copper mine, move them south to reinforce. Liu Yao? Part of Alliance. Maybe we can uh, ask for something else? That feels better. Finally, one alliance that's not trying to go to war with us. We clear this, keep two armies, or maybe maybe three armies around this area. Everyone else pushed down. I think we wipe out Wang Quan as a faction. They're sieging. 
We got the army next to it. We know they were going to siege. This is fine. Hmm, this was a little bit unexpected. Wait, they vassalized Golga? It doesn't matter, we're still at war with both of them. He's no longer drunk. He's a reformed man. Got herself another. Are you still a spy? Well, he's not. Okay, so he's worth getting just for that background bonus in the future, maybe. Like we might have people dying of old age. I mean, he's 59. It's not like he's a spring chicken, but. You know, some characters are just lucky. Okay, we snatch him. Anyone with items? I mean, we could grab Zamba. He's probably going to be happy enough that disloyal is not going to matter. 97. Let's just push it to 100. Here, take a rat. Not trying to say anything. Don't read too much into it. It's not a lunch, empty lunch pile. He's only at 80. He's rank. Oh, why is he so low, actually? Desire is 60. His desire is. Four Wait. He actually has a trait. He, <laughs> he has a trait that actually decreases it. Surprised. We did release them once. Okay. All right, let's first take care of all these sieges. Let's not suffer from the looters before Nobe's army lands. Yeah, she has a crossbow. It's it's animated on on the on the, on the 3D model. You see it. Alright, they're welcome to land. This is the problem. I don't want them to take this, and they're landing here. Oh man. We are gonna be rushing left and right. So this is a problem, but maybe this is someone else's problem. I'm just gonna walk. I'm probably going to end up taking it. I don't want to lose the replenishment, so we'll just counter-attack that. Yeah, the coast needs to be covered. I will go take care of this. Perfect. I was thinking about any chance of capturing him. And then we're also... Yes, dashing for the coast, and then after we clean them out, we counterattack. Long Quan, is there any chance we can confederate you? He's part of a. He's got to be part of something. Is he not? Oh, he's part of Alliance, right? Are we trading with him by the chance? We are. Okay, let's keep him alive then. He just doesn't like us. That super red negative. A little concerning. We are administrator. Not really missing food. I guess we'll get industry here. We make our push towards the ghoul path. Blue Bull's army come takes this. Yeah, 
Yeah, the two of them can double team this, and then they turn around this way, they turn around this way, the two of them wipes out Hedong. Our reform man here. Take a break here. We can give him some cavalry units. Uh, okay, I mean, it's not going to be pretty. It's fine. They will just defend against people coming over. Probably have to ambush around here. Okay, workshop. I can downgrade this once. Don't eat this. Alright, and then these three armies we tasked with defending this corner. Everyone else is pulling other direction now. They're better than the Sembei. Yeah, they're better. They have more damage. More abilities and everything. Alright, let's get these. Very damaged, actually. We'll probably give him Azor Dragons, because he's a bandit. But they can at least help cover that. We'll take care of this. So, let's see. She's a bandit. You don't need to be a attendant anymore. We're gonna swap out of these. You know what? She's not a bandit, but for an officer. Could be fire arrows in the future, poison arrow, fire arrow. Alright, three armies defending kind of our base. Armies all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight armies here pulling towards the coast and going down. Three clearing this area. Now we gotta look south. War declared. We need time. Oh my god, they actually have good units. We need time. Time that we don't have. Garrison's not healed. It's not like we can escape. Oh, this is an easier army to fight. We're at half strength. Give up mustering. Hmm. Might be forced to just fight that one. Can attack on the fourth turn. I don't know if this is actually defensible. He doesn't have a siege weapon. He would siege us next turn, but he wouldn't attack us, I'm guessing. And we wouldn't even get a siege defense out of this. I could just recall this whole group and resummon them. I know we tried pretty hard to get a foothold, but we weren't expected to be surrounded right away. Are you confederable? Oh, I can't. I, I don't have diplomatic vision of him, or? Oh, I don't have diplomatic vision of him. Yeah, I actually don't actually see him. I mean, I, I see him. The game doesn't think I see him. 
He would be a nice faction to confederate, to be honest. Put us right next there. But yeah, instead of defending this, we can come over, take the T, and then start building up. Is this defensible? I mean, I think it is. We can maybe even... Do they have night battle? That's the other question. She doesn't. He doesn't. He shouldn't have it. So maybe we can find them some help? I think all our poison volley generals are on the field already, so we can't use those. No one can come on the field with units ready, but we can send people who have, you know, mending. That'd be pretty strong for the generals. Someone with a smash ability, ideally, to kill. Oh, we don't have one of those. Oh, no, we do have one of those. So maybe we can summon that army as a group. They're going to double team us, though. This group's going to come from behind. They have night battle. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we're going to try something. We're going to attack. We're going to straight up attack them. Starve for now. Because we can find them some help as well. We can use the movement trick and get a full army out. The one that we picked. Uh, we'll use you, the Forgotten Son, as the proxy. Say we, we didn't forget about you. Move him just, just into the settlements. Okay, that's as far as you can go. Or else you kind of ruined the movement trick. Deng Sheng, who has the slam. And then we bring double mending to the party. We recall... We actually want to delete all the... Actually, it doesn't matter the water. We recall... Give him the movement. Don't need the units. This way, this army gets stopped by the settlement, which they still have to siege at least a turn. We do lose mustering, but we end up going farther south, taking out their second army that's coming in to close in on us. Now, this is all assuming they don't have a third army behind that second army, or else this plan will backfire. I think this is a better option than sitting there. Alright, this is double strategist with low health. I don't think they can contend with us. Oh, this terrain is terrible for them, too. We'll fight over here. And then... They have the higher range block chance. We'll put them in the front in case they have archers coming out. We counter charge anything that tries to flank us. Try to target enemy generals. I can give range block chance. I can get... Okay, let's just call you guys four. Puts you guys here. No dueling for you guys. We're good. Pound that. Right, they're all not healthy, the generals. Do they have a relationship with their friends? So we want to take her out first. Let's burn the towers, they're not charging out. It 
Yongsheng's gonna be key to this fight. We can creep up, actually. And now with the tower gone, ooh, that tree's actually not... That's, that's weird. Should have given some of them a bow, and then we could have just killed them. Oh, gotta probably turn off their fire will off. Oh, actually, shoot the team malicious. Place. I think the crossbow killed this group. Hopefully, we can hit the general here. Yep, we did. Killed the wrong one, though. Stop firing. Headhunters, charge. Alright. General's dead. But don't chase. Mm, why don't we just go ahead and get a smash on the shield wall? Be easier to kill this group. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right, stop firing. All four together.
These tree will cover them. We can wait till they get on this central path. I mean, they're gonna crowd that. I am gonna keep hitting that. Mm, can we hit the center? Let's have one shot land in the middle. There we go. Nobody wanna come protect this? You guys have decent range block chance and go, go absorb some of the archer shots. Yeah, let them waste it. Crossbow is going to run out of ammo here. Hopefully we can bring this guy down. Last volley here. Captain gets in here. I'm going to go in. They don't look braced to me. Right in the middle as they come in. I'm going to get him right out. Get them back over here, they're done. After they run out of ammo, I think it's time just maybe to push it in. I guess we could just keep using Deng Sheng here. It would be the easier solution. Just don't charge. Well, they they got scared. They got scared too. Alright. Everyone get them. Job's almost done. Oh. I didn't know we had that ability. We can raise it to 95%. And they can alternate, because it's AoE. Alright, someone's gonna have to defend. Get up over here. Forty-four ammo on those guys. Jeez. Alright, 
They have a few cavalry unit that could cause some problems. We gotta watch out for that. But it's time to go in. Wait, their ability changed. Oh no, it's, it's the icon changed. Yeah, they got no chance. And we're just gonna heal everyone up. Alright, so cavalry, go take care of cavalry. We'll kill the infantry for you guys. Dismounting? No. Yeah, I was like, no one really took them out. And then they're all axe units left. Should be an easy win at this point. Alright. So we got ourselves an opening here. They were in a settlement, they were on march. So they're fatigued. And they're all gonna get wiped. We're gonna execute here. There's no need to be nice at this point. I'm gonna kill that. So there is a third, but they can't reach us. Look, even on reach, they can't get to us, so I think we're good. We don't really have to go to the, their capital per se, but we can kind of play around it. Hide and go seek with their army, allow us to have time to rest up and replenish, and then we can counter. And then this army is going to come behind as we they vacate here, we will slip behind and do more damage as well. So I think we're going to be pretty well set up. We got a bit more cash. Alright, so they have movement now. What if we just... Oh, no siege. If we had siege weapon, we could... You know what? We can work around that. We get done over here a little bit quicker. He can keep that. He needs one. Now, Galgan's faction, they are part of what? They're vassals. They can't peace out. Now that I... Now that I have made... Oh, they're in alliance war. I can't even peace out with them even. If I wipe out Chendong, this is no longer an alliance, because it should be an alliance of one faction. These are all vassals. Then I can peace out. So Chendong is key now. Fifty-nine. Yeah, they're freaking out. They're like, we sent two armies to go kill this force that popped up, but then they suddenly destroyed one. They're fast approaching our capital. Right, they're waiting for that replenishment, so they can't go help. Yeah, I don't want to send them against two armies. One of them will take this. The other might take, like, they might land and take this, but, like, we have enough nearby that we can just counter take everything afterwards. Got a bit more money back. Um... Yeah, these minor buildings... The, the public order is concerning, because eventually as population grow, we can't contain it. Right now it's fine, I guess. Mm. 
And I wish the school gave some public order. Ooh, we're already negative. Well, that's because of a lot of faction support, which will go away, so I think that's fine. I think we're downgrading this. We're poor. Okay, we're good. 22k in the bank. Congratulations, you have become new faction leader. Can you guys stop hating us? Mm. Is he now heir? Right? Are they? They're the only. Yeah, he's now heir. So now I can orchestrate a, a civil war between our two spies. Oh, don't buy is available. We need three k. Well, she's sad. Uh, their faction leader died. No one's willing to give me three k, right? Ooh, do we all? Point five. You're right. Mm, we can cancel some buildings, I guess. This doesn't have have to happen now. This doesn't have to happen now. Who needs schools? Ditch school for, you know, pretty young girl. I don't know if we can get the others. Sun path. Drop Gulfstream to 19, but I still don't think Gulfstream will betray them. I feel like we might as well just extract her. Military, uh, we could consider some military revolt as well because they do have armies on the field and some of them look like they want to come fight us. They're not in the greatest of shape, let's just say that. I guess if they get close, we can use her for some poisoning. Alright, we'll resume that build and I think we can enter now. Let's see how they respond. Okay, they have three armies closing in. The one in front of us is ambushing. Gongsun Zan gets to go first, so he takes the prize. Chen Dong's army. So he chose over here. He's not going to go help a Bohai. Yeah, some of these army, if they look like they're coming over, I could get Dongbai, you know, our faction leader and everyone to poison their armies to the point where they can't fight. Guan Yu is working for Wu, uh, which only means they got confederated. They confederated the Obey. Why would they do that? That's less efficient. Yeah, then he's forced to go up instead of take it. Looters. Armies that we have tried to avoid to deal with. I think we avoided them successfully. Right, they not only vassalized, I think they confederated, yeah. Like, it's easier for us because now we're only dealing with one faction's army limit rather than two factions' army limit, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Because the Obey could have multiple armies, and of course with the AI cheats, with like basically resources not a problem. Now they all belong to one faction. Oh! No, spy. Uh, now they all belong to one faction, they have to come out of one faction. So we're getting sword officers every turn, wow. So he didn't take. We know there's army here ambush. There's an army here. We could actually turn around and attack him again. It's a tough battle, and, and then we lose this because they will come and take this. Hmm, I don't know if we want to do it that way. 
We'll think about what we want to do here. That's fine. Let's sneak over. I think the best approach is to not lose this one. Is we just ambush. Percentage-wise, 60%, 60%, 95%. Put them here, right? Have them walk into our ambush and then we fight them together. They will still be stalled here. We can still turn around and help. And when we help next time, we'll be fully replenished. I could even give them money. Oh, wow. We're getting we're getting massive discounts on the other side. I mean, yeah, we, we can lean into that. We can, like, you know, go for more Senbei and Wuhan units. They're, they're good. Like, this combination is very good. This two each combination that we're doing. Love it. These are bandits, which means we get Poison Arrow. Do both of them have it ready? So here we, we're doing the full Azor Dragon build. It's actually pretty nasty. Like, in melee they're not going to be better than Protectors, but like, we can poison the Protectors and avoid battle for a bit, and then fight them. Alright, now the recovery of our coastline. No base, army! There was one here. I don't know what happened to it. Alright, so we have to stay in the port. We're going to get Wuhan defenders just because they're going to be cheaper for us, right? Are they cheaper for us? Oh, he's he's also... He's the Poison Wally. Alright, so these two defend against looters. He I'm gonna he can cover this too. I'm gonna just put him here. Ah, oh, we see them. This was the Obey's army. But they can't take this. There's no instant siege. And they can they can both recover back. We have to stop Chen Zhong's army. He's not gonna walk up once he sees that, but we can still ambush. Olsen's like gets wiped by the one behind. Guan Yu's wow, they're so depleted. I wanna I wanna delegate that for a capture rate. Uh, and also, we were talking about giving him the super oh there's no set bonus, but the super decked out, he deserves it. Uh we're not stealing Li Bull's horse. Um We'll leave them alone. Where, where can they go, right? They can't go anywhere. Decisive. We can still get them later. And we can help with this. It's a death trap. They land, they die. Ooh, what is that? Gold builder item? Must be modded. Look at that beauty. Where did they get the weaponsmith to get that weapon? We have night battle already. Greedy tyrant. All commanderies lose one public order plus five income from all. Oh, we'll take that. Although public order is an issue, but we can always lower our tax rate. We're max tax rate right now. You die too. Uh, we can just fight it. Less units escape. He retreats closer to our units here. Uh, we shouldn't have moved that army. I think they possibly... Yep, they can reach them. Uh, just reset the ambush. Uh. Nice. 
No, we can't reach them. We can uh, proxy summon. And just knock this army out. We'll come here. We'll give them no chances. Alright, we're going to try to capture this Guanyu army right here. Run. I might regret ending up in the water, but this army actually doesn't have good units. If we get delegated by someone, that would be hilariously bad. Alright, so we'll do another proxy movement. Finds you a third. Ah, I think he no longer has disloyal, so this isn't too bad. Get rid of this. Got warrior monk. Did he go work for uh, Zoron's faction? He did. He did. Oh wait, it's Xu Shao. Ah, it's not Xu Yu, it's Xu Shao. Xu Shao is one of the greater of talents. If we can capture Yuan Shu, we'll put them together. Because I want the three sons in the army together. Uh, do they have night battle? I'm a little worried about him sniping Yuan Shao. Can't see. Alright, so we clean all that up. Next step is we go down here. The south is doing better than we thought. We have the ambush laid. Their army comes over here, wipe that out. We go back, wipe out Sun Quan. We took out three of their stacks, and we're fast approaching their capital with two stacks, one approaching over here. And next turn we can pump out another stack in the south as well, and then we can just work on their capital. Meanwhile, we're trying to just get more land over here. We need to continue to push west as well. Small territory gains there. We're pretty far from 95, 64. We have a vassal for three more, so we're at like 67. If we can force the abdication, obviously it'd be great. If we continue to keep building armies, right? We're at 19 full stacks. Oh, one of them is not full. We can go up to 22 full stacks. If we get two more administrators, we can go up to 24 full stacks. Each administrator gives one extra. At that point, maybe we can force more confederation. Maybe we can get to our 95 that way. So there are definitely options, and we'll see what happens. So it looks pretty good. I think this the, the smaller faction threat is basically non-existent. Our war with Sun... Well, I guess it's not Sun Quan's faction, Lady Wu's faction. Uh, is the tricky part, but I think we outplayed them, right? The trap against us, we outplayed them, and we can continue to outplay them and see how we do. It's threatening, but we got the poison going, and that's going to weaken off those infantry, and then we'll continue from here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys next time. Bye!